Okay, so that said, we have maps that have um, com complex pieces in them, and we have maps that have um, uh, alpha channel built into them. Those are two important things. And these, there's other masks we can put into the stuff we're going to work on, but for now, that's a good start. So I'm going to jump into Unity real quick and um, go to my pot, which I've already set it up, but I'll rebuild it for you. So this is that same thing, okay? And a couple of things I want to show you is I had an error right here, but since I originally copied it from channel two, that error came with uh, into channel three. So I cleaned it up for channel two, but then it broke it for channel three. It was funny. Okay, so um, this is the object right here. This has the three channels on it. So what I'm going to do is start off and change it back to a standard material, HDRP, go back to the lit material, just the standard. And if I look at the standard material, it's got the base textures in it. So actually, I think, oh, that's fine. So all my textures I've imported in. So when you work in Unity, you need to import your textures in separately. They are not imported by you. And um, materials will be made by Unity. And then um, you need to import your objects in. You need to import your objects in out here. In fact, we'll just do this from scratch. So let me just, do, actually, you know what? I can probably do this one. Delete. So first thing I usually do is import my textures. I just import them in here, um, not that one this one. All the ones I've used for this object. And you can see I didn't name them right. I should come in here and really name them and stuff um, because I got this straight out of Unity. The other thing is, in fact, let me delete this one. Go back into Max. Come in here. Uh, now Max to my hard drive. Go to textures. Take a look at my this one. I'm going to rename it. We're going to call this um, pattern um, normal, just like that. And then I'm going to drag it into here, just like that. And the reason I did that and not just leave it and rename it here, so I wanted to show you something about importing in um, normals into Unity. Unity doesn't automatically make it a normal. New to this Max by, or um, Unreal by default, but both of them usually have a way to either they ask you when you try and use it or something, but I never count on it, so I just make sure when I'm importing it, I change the file type. So it's instead of a texture type to, from default, and I just have to select it, right? It's so like this one says normal. All I'm gonna do is go to pattern normal, change this to normal map, and say apply. Just so you know, if you don't do that, it won't work correctly. Um, the other thing, is I've deleted my base out of here, which is the project folder, so the whole project no longer has that base, but it still thinks it's in here, okay? That is a problem for the game, but not for really anything. This red just means it's not in the scene. Cool thing about Unity is I can come back into here, go back to the four, take this and just drag it in, and it popped back into place. It re-put it back in the scene, okay? It didn't fix it. It still needs to have all the other things set up inside of here, but um, it's at least it repopulated the scene. So if you delete something out of the properties, you can always import it back in, and any of the work you've done inside of Unity will have to be redone, but at least it'll be in the right place, and if nothing else, whatever you may have done, like in the scene, it'll stay there. So I'm gonna go to the materials like we talked about. I'm gonna change this to standard. I'm gonna change this to external. I'm gonna change this to model's material name. And I'm gonna say apply. And suddenly it's repopulated. And that's because this original material that was here also, because I didn't delete it, was already um, put in with the base map I put in for the texture. Okay, so back to the beginning here. So now I've got my base in there and now I've got everything set. Oh, and one more thing I was gonna talk about, show you. There's a way, so when you select um, this, you can default this, make this default. All you have to do is come in here, click on this, and let's say default FBX import, like that. Create new preset. Save. And then if you come out to here, you'll see there's a default FBX importer setting right there. 
you're going to click on it and when you come over here you'll see it's all your stuff that you just changed so now anytime I import anything in here it'll do this to it but I have to do one more thing I have to come in here and say I think it's in the settings no wait it is to default add F FBX importer to default you click that button now every time I import any model into this unity file it'll automatically do all this crap and I'll have to go through it every time and usually what I do with this is I put it out in the art folder just in the art proper so it's sitting there so I can see it when I need it and therefore I can go okay now we've gotten back to this so we look at this and um, and we see that everything's working okay. I think that the normal got removed because we deleted it. So let's go back into our normal map. When you import something in, it the only thing it's going to keep, hopefully, is the name. So it kept the name of my material, which is also the name of this. And these are the two things that I do when I make stuff. I try to keep the material and the object name the same. It doesn't always work because sometimes they're used across several things and they have color frames and stuff. But for now, it's a really quick way to get things uh, clean. In Unreal, what you do is you have a material that's named MM underscore material. That's their standard way of doing it, which is a master, master material. That's what MM stands for. And anytime you make a variant of that, you call it MI, MI underscore, and then the name of the material, which would still work with this. It would just be MM and then MI. Um, and that way you can make variants of the original and not um, have it have to recalculate all the, the base um, stuff for the shader. Okay, so I have this. Next thing I want to do is make it an HDR, HDP, HDRP lit is what it is. So I need to go to the HDRP and then I want to come down to layered lit. So I'm going to click on layered lit and it's going to have all these things already set up, but let's pretend it doesn't. Let's change this back to two. Let's change this out. All you have to do to delete materials and stuff out of Mac or out of Unity is just select them and delete. Um, and it doesn't delete them from the game engine, it just deletes them from here. So um, now I just have my pink base. So I'm gonna go put my stone base in. Um, oh, it's got color still, so. I'll go back to white on this one, so we have the base. And I don't want it to have anything but two materials. So when we do a layered lit material, um, what we get is an up to four. You can type this up to four, I can go up to four. That's it, four channels. And then um, it has some other stuff inside of here. The only thing we care about is by default, we wanna have main layer influence, influence checked. There's other stuff we'll talk about as we get further into this. This light layer mask thing is pretty cool, but it, we can do what we need to do in the beginning just by working this way. You could just import in a material that you've made by default, and that's what a lot of people do. But for teaching purposes, um, we're just gonna do these materials um, inside of here. Um, I'm not sure, I played with it before where you bring in import materials, but sometimes it does this weird dance, and so I just I just assume make them in here. And in fact, that's the way that tree that we've shown in other classes we've made too, we've just built them inside of here. So I'm gonna take this stone base. So the first layer is the main layer. This is our stone layer. I'm gonna put this stone base layer texture right into that influence, oh not there, I'm sorry, to our base map like this. And it is in there. If you push control and click on this, you can see the preview of it. And it is in there, but nothing has changed. That's because it's treated like Photoshop. Um, so what do I mean by that? If I look at Photoshop, I'm gonna look at this thing right here, and I have a layer and I do a layer above it and I fill that layer with red. This is what it's seeing. Not the main layer, we're seeing this layer. That technically is the same thing that we're doing here. Layer one is on top of main layer, so you don't see anything except for layer one, no matter what you do to the main layer, okay? But I'm still gonna populate it the way it's supposed to be. I'm gonna take this base stone normal and throw it into the normal section. And I'm gonna take the mask map and put it into the mask map, which again is our metal smooth and ambient occlusion. Um, and that's all we're going to put in there. I do have a height map, but it's not a big deal at this point. Um, so now I've got that. It still doesn't show anything. So what I like to do is just minimize this so it's out of the way for now. We'll come back and look at this in a minute. But the next thing we want to do is change, um, is add our um, 
textures to the layer above it. So the pattern stuff that we're talking about. I'm going to take this base pattern, turn that checkbox off there. There we go. Take this base pattern that we brought in. This is the TGA with the alpha in the um, back um, right there. And I'll put it on. And if I click on it, you can actually see the RGB and now the A, the alpha channel. So I do have this now on top, but it's definitely no, not, still not showing me the, the, the stone layer underneath. And that's because we didn't check this box here, use the opacity map as density. Um, basically, it's, it's an opacity to it. So if I turn this on, since this has that opacity channel, boom, it's now cutting through and you can see that it's got this stuff set up. Now, this is not how we unwrapped it though, right? This is, this looks wrong, what's going on here? This is because it's still channel one. If I put that texture and max on channel one and had it transparent below, we would see the stone below it, but the alpha, but this would be how it was unwrapped for channel one. To get it to do the specific areas that we want, we have to change it to channel two. Max is channel two, my is channel two. So here's another quirk that we work with in the industry. Um, uh, years ago in engineering, they came up with a reason, that's, and they're both super smart and 100%, I can't remember why anymore, I just deal with it. But in game engines, 90% of them that I've worked in, it doesn't go map channel one, two, three, four, it goes map channel zero, one, two, three. So there's still four channels, but they start at zero, whereas most in, um, modeling software starts at one. So if you want to work in channel one, you are looking at channel zero in the game engine. If you want to look at channel two, you have to go to channel one in the game engine. So if I come over here to channel one and click that button, now the unwrap is working. You can see that this is broken, but we can fix that in a second. So channel two is now uh, set up the way it was in Max. So if I come back to Max real quick, and look at this one, and it didn't have three channels. Um, let me go to material real quick and just put. That one on it. This is what we're seeing. We're seeing this exact same thing. In fact, we'll just minimize it and we'll look and it's the exact same layout. So our channel two is working um, in the engine. So, um, all we have to do really is fix this problem, which I'll show you in a second, and then um, change this color to red or whatever color we want it to be, a darker red or whatever. The other thing that's missing is the normals and the other information. So we can come back to our paint pattern normal that we just made and put it into our normal. I don't have a mask map for this because when we baked it out, I didn't. So I have to do my metal smoothness from with by hand in here or whatever if I want to make it more metally or less metally. You know, I can make it like it's 10 or something. And then you can see some of the errors in my, my unwrap right here, which we'll fix. But yeah, basically it's now set up, and this normal's being weird, but it could be the lighting and stuff too, like um, our previous, like a max with two channels. Okay, so now we need to add a third channel, that third channel we unwrapped, which had this and this color being different. So I just come over to my layer count, go to three and just type in three, or you can try and use the slider. Um, and then again, just like in Photoshop, this layer is on top of the other layer. So none of the other the, all the other layers disappear basically. If I change this color, it wait, am I in the right one? Yeah. If I change this color, it'll change everything, right? So I've got it set up, but I don't have it with the textures or anything else. So again, we'll come back to that same pattern. That's the point is we're using one base pattern and throwing it in here. And now we have that set up. We can do that same thing with our normal, put our normal map right on there too. So we have our normal and it's bleeding through. And because of, oh crap, this was already set too, sorry. So basically this is what I should see when I first do it. But that's because this is still the UVs from zero from uh, channel one, the base channel inside of Mac. So if I change this to channel two, one, or two, one in Unity, it's gonna overwrite everything I did for channel two. So my red's now gone. But if I go to channel three, we now have the green, the red, and the base texture on the bottom. So um, 
that's how you do it. That's basically what's going on here. It's not that hard. It's just you have to remember what channels are and what. And you'll get used to it. This is completely the way a lot of companies work. Um, these, this is such a cleaner way to work if you if you uh, get your head around how it works. There's more things we can do, and we'll get into that probably after we go into Unreal and do it. Because in Unreal, we have to kind of write our own um, uh, blueprint for it. But uh, maybe we'll do more of this next week where we get into some of the other detail pieces. Um, it's interesting way of looking at how you do this in Unreal and how you do it in Unity. Um, Unity's simpler and it's a lot of work's done for you, um, but Unreal gives you more power because you have to do it yourself kind of thing. It's kind of the opposite of the way this isn't set up for all the beauty and then uh, you have to do all that work, whereas Unreal is set up for all the beauty and you don't have to do anything to get it to look good.